Alrighty, hello guys, Lucky Me Faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Hardcore Career Mode in Stormworks, and today we're upside down in our plane that we built last time. I, I don't know why we did this. Uh, I'm inside there because uh, reasons, and um, we're going to have to get outside of this thing. Uh, we're going to have to travel back to our base, which is just there. Uh, and actually, we need to get a boat out that can, uh, can, can bring this back. Or at least tow it back. Yeah. We need to tow this back. We need to tow that boat over there back. As well as the plane that's behind it. Uh, yeah. There's actually quite a lot we need to do. However, what I want to do first is get this plane finished. Um, once we've done that, I actually had a comment saying that we should make a tanker. Uh, and I actually really agree with that. I think that's a, that is a good point. Building a tanker would be awesome. So we might end up doing that in the future. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and swim back to the base. Uh, we're going to continue building this thing, and hopefully, uh, it'll be good. Let's see what happens. Alright, so we are actually in the workbench now, and honestly, one of the main problems with this is the back doesn't really have any flotation. There is there is no flotation going on right here. So, what I want to do is actually delete a bunch of this side. In fact, on both sides, to be fair, obviously. So, let's go ahead and delete a bunch of these. Uh, delete a bunch of these also. There we go, going backwards. And honestly, we could just send these down the side like this. Here we go. Uh, quite far down the side, I guess. Yeah, like that. There we go. Uh, delete all of those guys. Delete these guys and these guys as well. There we go. And I think what we could get away with uh, is probably deleting all of that. There we go. Send this backwards like so. That's good. Uh, I don't know how much of this we can actually like have, if that makes sense. Um, because I don't know whether the propeller is going to allow this to be a thing, but we'll see. So I can probably send this back into there like this. Oh, it actually does. They're allowing it. Hey, nice. Okay, cool. So that'll give us a little bit more flotation right there. I think that's a good idea. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete all of this down to there also and send this like this. There we go. And I'm just going to seal this up on the back. I think that'll be fine. So there we go. Do that. Do this. And in fact, delete these guys. Uh, yeah, okay, good. We're actually going to go ahead and use these guys instead. So we're going to do this into here. Uh, there we go, fantastic. Do another version of it, I guess, right here as well. There we go, Fandabby Dozy. In fact, actually, no. We're just going to use these full blocks right here uh, to fix this bit in. There we go. All right, fantastic. Fandabby Dozy. Okay, right, cool. So, I, I don't know what I'm doing here, but let's go ahead and, like, block this down. There we go. Uh, we should then be able to use these guys. There we go. Very nice. Go ahead and smack that on there. Delete that guy. Put this piece on. Just like so, and I guess we're somewhat merging all of this together. I, I, I don't know. I wasn't ready for this, but uh, it is what we're going to do. So there you go. That's that's probably fine. We're then going to go ahead and build this into here like this. There we go. Good. Um, okay, awesome. Grab one of those. Put it on here like so. There we go. And then we should be able to do uh, this. Hey, that's going to go there. Very nice. We're going to do this across there. We're then going to do this across here as well, and honestly, I think that's fine. It's a bit weird, but I think it's fine. Um, we're just going to go ahead and block that bit up. There we go. Some extra flotation. Why not? Uh, we're then going to go ahead and make these guys a little bit smaller. We'll go to like 75%. 75% uh, on this one also, clearly, and there we go. I think that'll be a little bit better. Maybe. I think that's fine. Okay, so now it will actually fly, I think. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. There we go. I can't remember what happened to the last one, but clearly it didn't go well. <laughs> clearly it did not go well, but let's go ahead and get inside anyway and see if we can take off with this one. Let's go. Some people are saying that we should have, like, wing floats as well, but I don't know whether we need that. Alright, there we go. We're in the air. We're in the air. We're flying. Everything is nice. Hunky dory. Excellent. And it does actually fly. Um, I think we are going to add a gyro to this thing. It'll make it a little bit more stable, uh, and that is a good idea. It's very fast. It is actually an extremely quick vehicle, this. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Land it back in here. Get it. There we go. Nice. So, yeah, a gyro is probably a good idea. A throttle is probably a good idea, and then we'll be good to go from there. So, I'm going to go ahead and smack all of that into this thing, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alright guys, I've done some modifications. We have a speedo, we have a fuel dial, we have a battery dial, we have an altitude dial, we also have some lights, we have some landing lights, we have a throttle in the middle which is going to control our throttle, and that is all good. So, now if I press 1 and we throttle up, 
That's it. That's good. And now we can lift up into the sky. We have a gyro on two. There we go. Fantastic. And we are flying. Is that using my battery like crazy? Because it's wobbling all over the place. Look at that. It's working, though, so that's good. Um, and there we go. Nice. Okay, so we have a flyable uh, plane, which actually works. And is uh, it's, it's, it's not ugly, either. I don't think it's very ugly. So I think we've done a pretty good job with this, to be honest. Anyway, let's go ahead and land ourselves back down on the ground. How much fuel does it use? Not very much. Okay, brilliant. It does use battery, though, because it is flopping around like a fish. So uh, what we need to do is go to this. Go to our pitch and reduce this by like a million. There we go. And now we should be good to go. Awesome. Nice. All right, everybody ready? Here we go. All right, is this going to work this time? Who knows? Oh, we did just clip the... Uh, we clipped that as we went. That was weird. All right, engine on. All right, our, uh, our gyro is now on also. And our fuel is going down. I mean, it's going down, but it's not too bad. Our altitude... I think we broke our altitude on takeoff. We must have. Unless it's the smoke. Does the altitude see smoke? Is that what's happening? That might be what's happening. That's really weird. Anyway, we've built a small plane that can now take off and fly, which is excellent. It can also rescue people, which is also pretty good. Uh, our battery stays full. Our fuel is, is pretty good. Um, and our speed is actually pretty good too. So I'm real happy with this. This is nice. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and turn ourselves around, we're going to fly back towards our base, and we're going to stop ourselves there, so we'll fly back, we'll make sure we're okay, uh, we're going for a landing, we do need some other things too, we also need to get rid of this thing right here as well, just in case, uh, and that would be amazing, um, but yeah, I'm actually real happy with this, this is cool, this is very cool, okie dokie, let's go ahead and go in for a landing, shall we, uh, yeah, alright, send it over to the right, here we go, um, we now have control over... Well, actually, we don't. We don't. We don't have control over anything. We have to do this. Oh, yikes. That's not good. <laughs> that's not a good way of doing it. Okay. Instead of this being, like, naturally minus one, we need a, um... We need something that sends it up to minus one. So, like, uh, we need our, our, the, our controls to actually send it to minus one. Uh, which I think makes sense. Yeah, like an inverter. I guess. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. Anyway, what is this on the roof and what does it control? This controls pitch, right? Yeah, that goes into there, it goes into here, that's fine. So yeah, the pitch actually goes into the numerical inverter and then it gets sent into there. Um, okay, does it need to? I guess not. We can also put a numerical inverter on the, uh, the collective as well uh, and have that go into the up and down instead because then we actually have, have use of it. Which I think makes sense. Yeah. I guess that does make sense. Okay, let's get one of these. I don't know if this is the right way around. I don't know if this is how it works. But essentially, this would go into the collective. One and two. And then that would go into... Uh, da -da 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 -da, up and down. Uh, and that would obviously be minus one when it, when it works. Okay. Uh, this also... The clutch pressure is actually on. Okay, we need a temperature gauge on here as well. That's probably a good idea. Um, but I don't know whether I can fit one. I don't think I can fit one. We'll have to delete a cylinder, which is very strange in itself. But yeah, let's do it. Temp. Here we go. Yep, yeah, we'll put a temp sensor on. There we go. It is a very powerful engine anyway, so that's okay. All right, cool. Delete this. There we go. Engine temperature is going to go right there. Da -da 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 -da. Engine temp. There we go. Fantastic. So... Connect this up with this guy, and there we go. Now we know the temperature of our engine. Beautiful. That's actually really good. Anyway, we've built something that uh, works, which is nice. Uh, we've built something that I guess actually looks okay too, which is, is brilliant. I might actually replace the wings with beds. Uh, not all of the wings, but, you know, a little bit of the wings. Uh, in fact, both of them on both sides. Uh, re re yeah, okay, there we go. So that goes to there like that, and we can put them in the wings. Uh, main reason for that is so that we can actually sleep um, when we're on this pl plane. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, good. Let's jump on and sleep. There we go. And we can make it daytime while actually using the small plane. Beautiful. All right, guys. We've done a good job here. We've done a brilliant job. Anyway, uh, I'm actually going to go and end this video here for now. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this thing. And uh, we'll see what we can do next time. But uh, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.